Hi class! For our math lesson today, we're going to jump right into our workbook page. So go ahead and take out page 269 and write your name at the top. Number one, we could just add our coins, but we're going to make a math problem out of it. So what coins are on the top? Who is that picture of? George Washington. And the coin? Quarter, which is worth? 25. Count by 25s. 25, 50. So 50 goes in this box. What are these coins? This is Monticello. Thomas Jefferson. A dime is smaller than this one. This one's a nickel. Count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen. That number goes in this box. I will let you add them up. You can do this one later as well. Remember, do the ones column first. Number three, circle one dozen. How many things in a dozen? Sixteen. Number four, we usually do together, but you're going to do it on your own today. Figure out the missing number. I'm going to be checking to see how you do. Number five, write the before and the after number by fives. Remember the pattern for fives is five, zero, five, zero. So if there's a number with a five here, there needs to be a number with a zero in the ones column here and a zero in the ones column here. If there's a zero in the ones column here, you need a number, a number with a five in the ones column here and a five in the ones column here. If you get stuck, you can always refer to your counting chart in your binder. Okay, turn your paper over. We're gonna do most of the back together. The front was review. On the back, we have the carrying that we learned yesterday. We always start with the ones column. 6 plus 4 is 10. Now, in the number 10, which digit is in the ones column? Let me get my marker open here. In the number 10, in the number 10, the 0 is in the ones column. So the zero gets to stay and the one has to get carried over to the tens column. Remember, we talked about the game of musical chairs. When the music stops, somebody ha is out. Two digits cannot go in the ones column. Somebody has to move out. So the zero stays, the one goes to the tens column. One plus seven is? Plus one is nine, so your answer is 90. Start with the ones column. Eight plus two is, put down your zero, carry your one. One plus five is, six plus three is nine. Your answer is 90. Start with the ones column. Six plus five is 11. So you put down a one and carry a one. One plus eight is nine. Two more. Start in the ones column. Seven plus four is 11. Put down your one, carry your one. Seven plus one is eight. Seven plus five is? Put down your Two, carry your one. One plus four is five, plus two is seven. This is a bar graph. This is giving us information to answer the questions that I'm going to, uh, or excuse me, this is where we get our information to answer these questions. Now, I need to grab my math book here that has the questions that we need in it. Let's see. While I'm getting set up here, look at the birds there. And some of the birds you may have 
seen outside at your house? I don't think you've seen a roadrunner. <laughs> but you may have seen a robin. Robins start coming out this time of year. Okay. Now, take a look at those boxes. Look at the numbers that go across at the bottom. These numbers are counting by what? These numbers are counting by threes. So each box represents three. Let's count by three, starting with zero, going to 36. Begin. Zero, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. So each box represents three. I'm going to read you some questions and we're going to use this bar graph to answer them. So letter A, your answer is either going to be Robin, Hawk, or Woodpecker. Which of the, which of the three birds, Robin, Hawk, or Woodpecker, is shorter? So look up here. The robin is six, or, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, the robin is nine inches long. The hawk is 27 inches long. And the woodpecker is 18 inches long. Which is the shortest? That would be the robin. So color in the bubble under robin. Letter B, Roadrunner, Robin, or Woodpecker? Which of the three birds is the longest? Okay, Roadrunner is 24 inches long. See, it ends here, and then I go down to the number. Robin is 9 inches long, and Woodpecker is 18 inches long. Which is the longest? Yes, the Roadrunner of those three choices. That would be Roadrunner. Letter C, Woodpecker, Robin, or Hawk. Which bird is longer than the Roadrunner? Okay, so longer than the Roadrunner. So here's the Roadrunner. How long is he? 24 inches long. Which one is longer? That would be this one, the hawk. So letter C is hawk. So you should have um, robin, roadrunner, hawk. Letter D, which bird is one yard long? Okay, so we've got to think about this. How many, um, our numbers are in inches. So how many inches in a yard? Remember the yardstick? This is a yard. How many inches in a yard? 36. So do we have one that's 36 inches long? Oh, what was the question? Oh, we're on letter D and look at the choices. Robin, hawk, or the answer's not here. They're trying to trick us. So a yard is how many inches long? 36. Do we have a bird that is that many inches long? No. So the answer is not here. Letter E, your choices are robin, hawk, or not here. Which bird is shorter than one foot? How many inches in a foot? Inch, foot, inch, foot, stop, kaput. 12 inches in a foot. So which one is shorter than a foot? Well, if we follow the 12 up, then we can see that the hawk goes past, the roadrunner goes past, the woodpecker goes past, and look, the robin is only nine inches long, which is shorter than a foot. So the answer would be, um, Robin. 
Okay, I'll go over the answers one more time. A, A was Robin, B was Roadrunner, C was Woodpecker, D was, um, oh, that D was not here, and E was Robin. Okay, I would like you to finish uh, the front of the page, page 269. Don't forget to try your Quizlet. I especially want you to do some practice with the um, money and with the clocks in Quizlet. So if you don't have time to do any of the addition, um, that's kind of taken up with doing your speed drill today, which by the way, today is the speed drill as the fourth speed drill and I need a photo of it. I want a photo of the front side that says how many you got right each day. So do that for your addition practice and for your practice with clocks and money, please jump onto Quizlet and decide if you wanna play with flashcards or matching or writing, that part is up to you. Um, also, I did let your parents know that the way Quizlet answers some of the clocks is not a way we've necessarily talked about it in first grade. So feel free to have them um, help you to see if you got it right. I hope you get a bunch right. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye.